In today's video, we will learn to upload files with ASP.NET Core Web API. We will create an endpoint that can receive a file from a client and save the file to a blob storage. My name is Pat. If you are new here, consider subscribing because it motivates me to make more videos. Let's get into it. Let's create a new project in Visual Studio. I select the ASP.NET Core Web API template. I set the project name to Web API File Upload. I disable HTTPS because I don't want to deal with certificates in my local environment. I click on the Create button to generate the project. During the generation of the project, Visual Studio created a weather forecast controller. We won't use it, so let's get rid of it. Let's also remove the model associated with the controller. Now we can start clean. Let's add a new controller. We choose the API controller empty template. The name is file upload controller. Let's add an action method called get. This will be invoked when navigating to the API URL. The method returns a string which says file upload running API. Let's change the default URL in the launch settings.json file. We replace weather forecast with API slash file upload. If you run the project, you can see the file upload endpoint return the text correctly. Now let's add an endpoint for file upload. I create a new action method called upload. I decorate the method with the HTTP post attribute because the endpoint will accept only HTTP POS requests. I decorate the method with another attribute called route to specify the route to the endpoint. To retrieve the file from a HTTP request, I add a parameter of type iform file. iform file represents a file sent in a HTTP request. The name of the parameter is file. This needs to match the name sent in the HTTP request as well. The method returns OK as a result. Let's run the project. Now the API is running. We are going to use Postman to make a request. In case you don't know, Postman is a tool that allows to test API. I create a new request. This needs to be a POST request. The endpoint is upload. To send a file, we are going in the body tab. In the drop down list, I select form data. I select files in the key field. I name the key file. The key must match the name of the parameter in the upload method. In the value section, I click on select files to select an image from my image folder. Once the image is selected, I can submit the request to the API by clicking on the send button. You can see that I hit the breakpoint. We can inspect the properties of the file. The upload works. Now let's save the file to Azure Blob Storage. I create a folder called service. I add an interface called iStorage service. This interface exposes a method called upload which accept a form file as a parameter. Let's create a concrete implementation. I call it storage service. This class will need a package called azure.storage.blobs. Let's install it. To interact with a blob storage, we need an instance of blob service client class. We are going to receive it through dependency injection. We will configure later. Let's implement the upload method. Get blob container client will give us a client to interact with the blob container. We need to supply the container name in the parameter. We will do it later. Get blob client on the container client will create a new blob in the container. The blob will take the name of the submitted file. 
Upload on the blob client will write the stream read from the form file to the blob storage. Let's add storage settings to the app settings. I add a new object named storage. It has two properties, the connection string and the container name. In the storage service, I use the configuration class to access the container name. Now I go into my Azure account storage. In the access key section, I copy the connection string. I paste it in the app settings.json file. Let's also check if I have a container in which I can upload files. Yes, indeed, I have a files container. Let's update the name of the container in the app settings file. The storage service is ready. Now let's configure dependency injection. In the configure services method from the startup class, I register the i storage service with the storage service as its implementation. To register blob service client class, I'm going to add a package called microsoft.extensions.azure. This package makes it easy to register Azure services. I use the add Azure client method. In the Lambda expression, I call add blob service client on the builder object. I provide the connection string to the storage account. Now let's go back to the file upload controller. We inject the storage service in the constructor. In the upload method, I call the upload method on the storage service to upload the file to the blob storage. Let's run the project. The API is running. In Postman, I'm going to use the same request I used before. I get a 200 status, which tells me the request went OK. Let's check in the blob storage. You can see the file has been uploaded. I can download it. That's the file I sent. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoy, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.